Hello everyone, welcome to another Hearst Boy segment. My name is Rainy, and if you follow me on Twitter or have me on PSN, then you know that I have recently been playing the Resident Evil HD remaster on PS4. I'm revisiting this title because, like most of you I'm sure, I've heard a lot of things about a potential Resident Evil 4 remake. And I know there's a ton of videos like this that exist already, but I wanted to put in my two cents because I'm revisiting a game I really love right now, and I wanted to talk about some things real quick some uh some stuff everybody's making videos on what they want to see from a resident evil 4 remake but i don't see a lot of people touching on some of the things that make resident evil 4 a less than stellar experience for a lot of people everyone's hailing it one of the greatest video games ever made for most people my age it's everybody's favorite resident evil title but that doesn't mean that this game doesn't have some very glaring issues that should not return in the remake so this is four things that i don't want in the resident evil 4 remake number one no qte qte stands for a quick time event and resident evil 4 is chalk full of them. If you've seen another video like this, which I'm sure you have because I'm always late to the party, then you know that pretty much everyone shares this same sentiment. Nobody wants QTE to come back. Quick time events, ironically, are meant to immerse you in the panic of the situation in any given video game, but all they do is take me out of the moment because I go from watching this cutscene or whatever to having to mash buttons all willy-nilly and shit because I, did, I wasn't prepared for that. So yeah, nobody likes quick time events. Uh, they were never a good idea to begin with. Uh, don't put them back in. Maybe like three tops. I don't mind them so much when they're not all over the place, okay? And Resident Evil 4 is chock fucking full of quick time events. In the early game, not so much, but once you get halfway past like chapter two, it's damn near every fucking chapter, like constantly. Anyway, number two, uh, no escort missions. I think uh, 2020 is a very different time than 2005. Uh, certain things are very antiquated depending on who you speak to, certain uh, lines of thinking, certain ideologies, certain philosophies. And in my opinion, and most gamers my age opinion the damsel in distress character is very outdated and super tacky and very very lazy ashley deserves to be her own character ashley deserves some development and i think i speak for us all when i say that nobody wants to escort a whiny ass fucking ai around all the time it would be kind of cool if through the progression of the story you could switch back and forth from leon to ashley kind of like how jill and carlos do in the resident evil 3 remake that would make for some great gameplay elements and some pretty interesting storytelling and narrative progression as far as uh, the potential that the remake has because while everybody loves to hate on Ashley and what a horrible character she is and how she has, has no development the one time you're playable as her in the game makes for one of the tensest most survival horror feeling moments in the game here you have Leon who's like ready for anything and then suddenly you switch to this relatively defenseless hostage with like no training and only surrounding items to aid her it makes for really good tension and i think that that's one element that they should build upon more and rather than have ashley be the donkey kong princess that she is waiting atop the ladder to be rescued it'd be really cool if capcom did like a back and forth kind of thing where you know you play as leon looking for ashley and then you switch to ashley trying to make her escape from salazar and sadler and all them and then you have them meet in the middle and from that point instead of it being an escort mission she then becomes an ai or even better Maybe some co-op action? Hmm? You know, obviously implement limitations, but don't make her totally inept. You can have Leon and Ashley do very character-specific things, kind of like in the original when Ashley would piggyback on Leon, hop through a window and unlock a door. Leon's secret service, right? He's He knows Ashley, right? He protects the president and his family, give her some firearms training, you know, nothing crazy, she doesn't have to be fucking G.I. Jane, but goddamn, can she be a person? There is so much potential here, so much potential for more believable chemistry here, more character development, so please, no more escort missions, much like QTE, nobody likes that shit. Number three, no action hero Leon. Now, in the original Resident Evil 4, it's a pretty big gap between Resident Evil 2 from 1998 to Resident Evil 4 in 2005 because between those two games, we don't see Leon at all. It isn't until a later title with Resident Evil Darkseid Chronicles that we actually get a glimpse into what Leon was doing between his time at the RPD and his time in Spain. Literally, like, aside from some exposition in the very beginning of the game in Resident Evil 4, you get nothing. Going on the remake, since the remake is new canon, right? We're supposed to believe Resident Evil 2 Remake Leon goes from this, this sort of wide-eyed, you know, do-gooder, boy scout, innocent 
innocent kid. I wish I'd come here sooner. Lieutenant, I'm not just gonna leave you here. To this beady-eyed, emo-haired, action hero badass. Hasta luego. With no exposition and no explanation whatsoever. I'm not saying make Leon a fucking wimp, but I'm saying like, don't make him such a stereotypical movie action hero. Give him some development. Write a good Resident Evil character for once. <laughs> I'm not gonna front Capcom. Y'all touched on it a very little, little, little bit in the 3 remake. I liked the Jill Nightmare stuff. I liked it. I didn't like that it went nowhere. Resident Evil 4 remake is your chance to make that PTSD go somewhere. For a person to go into work their first day and stumble upon the literal apocalypse is batshit fucking insane. Make that have some kind of lasting effect on the character. Mold it into an interesting gameplay mechanic. You don't just see the shit that Leon saw and then go from that to just this soulless fucking killing machine. Like, that's not how that works. <laughs> and if it is how it works in the context of the universe of Resident Evil, then expand upon that. You can go the action hero badass route. Let's, let's say you are going that route. Make it so that Leon's vow to destroy destroy umbrella trumps any and every moral dilemma he's ever had make it his one sole singular solitary mission you can make him cold but make it believable going from apprehensive to killing indiscriminately makes me feel like it's not even the same character you know so if you're gonna make him this fucking terminator build upon that or you could take the better route and not make him that and actually make for an interesting character with some decent writing so yeah no action hero leon Make him feel like a real person. Make Ashley feel like a real person. And my fourth and final point, this actually goes to you guys and myself actually, us as a whole, the collective, the viewership. No nostalgia bias, please. Okay, you guys got a serious issue with remakes not living up to your nostalgia bias about the original. I hear a lot of bullshit about Resident Evil 3 remake and how it's action heavy and how it's f the next Resident Evil 6 and how it's fucking Resident Evil directed by Michael Bay. But what you guys fail to understand is they're actually really fucking similar. If the graphical capability and the budget were available in 1999, they would have made the exact same fucking game they made this time in 2020 back then so when the remake of 4 comes out uh, draw comparison obviously everybody's gonna do it we all do it it makes sense right it makes sense to compare the remake to the original whatever it is whether it's a book a movie a video game literally anything i'm not saying don't do it what i am saying is hold the resident evil 4 remake up by its own bootstraps judge the game by its own merits First, is the Resident Evil 4 remake a good game? Establish that part of your opinion first, before diving head first into all the shit you don't like, because it's not like the first one. Meh. And I promise, I will try my best to do the same. Anyway, that wraps up four things I do not want to see from the Resident Evil 4 remake. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. You can find me on Twitter at Rainio Valle. You can find Hearst Boys on Twitter at Hearst Boys. Be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, click the bell icon to get notified for whenever we upload. My name is Rainy. Thank you guys so so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.